Hey, what's up, y'all? Wanted to check in with y'all. Um, I see a lot of posts, everybody saying 2020, the worst year ever, all of these things going on. Let me tell you something. 2020 is no different than 2019, 2018, 20, 2004, 2030. There's always going to be a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of impediments that pop up. This is life. That's what we call life. We happen to be living through one of these times where there's something kind of dramatic that's going on, a few things. But this is no different than what people were dealing with years, years before us and what we're going to be dealing with years after this. Here's the thing. It's all good to talk about, to really unpack some of the issues that we're dealing with today in our society, because there's a lot of heavy issues that we're dealing with. Some feel heavier than you might want it to feel because a lot of things have been ignored and not talked about for so long. Listen, when you have something on your chest or in this country, we've been having some underlying issues. When it's not talked about, it just spills out. It comes out and possibly looking like a perverse way. You can't suppress these kind of things. You gotta let it out. You let it out, it comes out the right way. When you don't let it out, it, it, it explodes. It comes out however it wants to come out, but you can't keep these things in. Now, there's things that I talk about socially that a lot of people don't wanna hear. That's fine, you don't have to listen. But I wish that you did listen and listen with an with a open and honest heart and objective ears, right? Everybody's so biased towards this and that and, and so, so holding so firm to their feelings and beliefs. But listen, why don't we be, why don't we hold firm to like truth, to just straight, hard, factual truth? You know what I mean? And also, like let's say in this country, for instance, the country is very divided. It's always been divided. It's not, it's not unique. But we're, we, we all succumb to tribalism and tribalism was was an intellectual thing to 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 stay close to your tribe to those that look like you to stay to stay safe but we're not fucking cave people we're not primitive people anymore we are an advanced civilization so we don't have to still fall victim to tribalism and judging others because they look different or they don't come from where we're from okay so that's something that i really want y'all to explore and unpack on your own i don't have time to sit here and really go through evolutionary history and history of the United States and all of that right here in this video. But I did want to touch on these topics. Also, all of the things that's going on, like let's say it doesn't affect you uh, directly right now. That doesn't mean it doesn't affect somebody else in a profound way, right? So have a little bit of, just a little bit of human decency or empathy for somebody that's going through something or somebody that have com complaints that they feel in their heart are valid. You may not know what it is. You may not understand the depths or the complexity of it because it don't affect you. So it's, it makes sense for you to not know. Just because you don't know or don't understand or don't feel what that person feel, it doesn't mean that you have to make a whole big campaign against it. It's really, really hurtful and it's really rude and mean. And, and it's a low level of thinking and we're all better than that. Y'all are better than that. Another thing I wanna to touch on, just because we have all these things going on, and yeah, there's a lot, so what life goes on our life don't stop i'm so sick of hearing people talk about well when COVID's over when co COVID ain't ever gonna be over all right it's here it's an, an, another virus like the flu virus or whatever else is out there we have these things they come they come and go some come and stay it is what it is you just adjust and act accordingly all right listen if you want a road to get to your desired destination and the streets blocked off there's an accident what do you do just stop that's what americans is doing right now everybody just stop or man fuck it i'm gonna go back home nah you found an alternating route you get around it you know what i'm saying that's what y'all doing with y'all lives y'all not living your lives i'm living my life to the fullest still to this day ever since covid ha happened and people will say oh we're locked down listen there's no martial law we're not locked down I ain't been locked down yet. And I'm in Los Southern California. Where we don't play and out of town is get got like every day. Where we have some of the worst uh, uh, numbers statistically for coronavirus. But look, it's ways around everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm reckless and I go out doing this and a third. I don't want to wear a mask, but if I'm around people, fuck it. If it make everybody feel comfortable, I throw a mask on, big deal. You know what I'm saying? I see people recording themselves on airplanes like, I'm not gonna wear a mask, watch this. Getting kicked off the plane, just to, just to prove a point, a political point. 
I'm gonna tell you something. That's fucking stupid. That's goofy. If I'm getting on a plane, I wanna get to where I gotta go. If it means me wearing a fucking mask, I'm gonna just wear the mask. Big deal. And people that wear mask, like people that don't wanna wear masks, that's everybody if you didn't know. But for those who just refuse to wear masks, just because other people wear a mask doesn't mean that they're 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 not as intelligent as you or they're weak. That's a really weak thing to say to call somebody weak. That's really goofy. You need to really analyze your brain and your mind and why would you feel the need to try to belittle people like that in the comfort of your social media platform behind your, your phone or your whatever, wherever you're doing it at. It's real goofy. You're a bunch of idiots wearing masks. You know it's not real. Look at you fools. You got a f***ing doily on your face. You hard. You look like you f***ing got it off your mom's countertop. You look like an idiot. You're a child. Try to make you wear a mask. Hey, you're a dork. Look at you, you giant what are you gonna do? No boy, 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 boy. Come outside. Okay. Come outside and show me how tough you are. I'll beat that mask off your face like a You're a bunch of wearing masks. Loser. Goodbye. I'm just trying to tell y'all look, live your life. Live your life. Do not allow, whether it be the government or anybody in quote unquote power to dictate how you're supposed to live your life. You live your life because look, you the one gotta live your life, not anybody else. You the one that feel what you gotta feel every day, day in and day out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not allowing nobody to dictate nothing in terms of how I'm living my life or what I gotta do, all right? Y'all should do the same. I'm not saying buck against the system and, and do things that's conducive to, to peace and order unless you feel so 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 in, inclined in your heart to do so and you must have a valid reason whatever that's on you but what i'm saying is live your life you know there's still places to travel do some research i've been traveling since this shit started matter of fact the day that it hit and we got locked locked down i was in mexico flew back and then i was tra i've traveled every month since then nothing's nothing's we're not on lockdown yeah stop acting like that all right, a lot of people are sensationalizing things. I don't really know why, maybe it's for attention, I don't know. But the news, the media, okay, maybe y'all watching too much news. The news overly sensationalize everything. Fuck the news. Look, these are just businesses, it's corporations, it's no different than uh, a YouTuber putting a bullshit thumbnail and having a crazy over the top title for clickbait. These corporations are doing the same thing. Matter of fact, they're on YouTube as well. They just trying to get as many views as possible for advertisers to make money, things of that nature. They're not trying to report to y'all honest and fair and unbiased information. They trying to show y'all, put in y'all face negativity, controlling you by tugging at your emotions, fear, all of this shit. All you see is the negative shit, the fires, a riot, a police killing, whatever. Things do happen and we gotta deal with it. But things have always been happening and things will always be happening. There's no such thing as utopia, but utopia is in the mind. Heaven is right here. It's up to you if you're gonna live in it or if you're gonna live in hell, if you're gonna live in anger and fear and, 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 and things of that nature. All of the things that's being marketed to you, they're marketing you fear. They're marketing you hate. You don't have to fucking succ uh, uh, succumb to that. Turn that shit off. Go to something that's positive. Consume information that makes you feel good or, or, or something that you can learn from. There's a lot of people that I respect on Instagram that I've been unfollowing. And just because I unfollow you doesn't mean I don't like you. I just don't want to see what you're, you're posting every day. There's a lot of people posting a lot of negative shit. That's if I get up and, you know, do my thing. And then first thing I see is something horrific is putting me in a fucked up mood and i don't want that so i unfollow them it's that easy that's y'all could do the same thing oh i found the new thing you could do on instagram you can mute people so you don't even see their posts you know because I'm, I'm sick of people texting me like yo why you won't follow me don't 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 ask me weird shit like that you know what i'm saying so anyway it's your life every day that goes by is time that you will never get back so each day that go by i'm living my shit to the fullest life is what you make it if you allow that garbage to come into your brain, it's your fault. It's not the media's fault, it's your fault, all right? Turn off the idiot box, and that's some real shit. And the idiot box ain't just the TV no more, it's the internet as well. 
You don't have to shut it all the way down, but stop consuming information from networks and channels that put you in a bad mood or make you angry or make you hate your neighbors. Cause that shit is fucked up. That shit is foul. All right, we all need each other. You don't want to alienate yourself from everybody. Come on, man, that's goofy. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.